Okay, so this is the back of my van at the moment. Not good, not good. Will four of us actually sleep in this? Yes! Have faith. Doing a great job, babes. She's awesome, guys. It's almost, almost clear. I'm going to get rid of this bulk plate now. So we got access through to the front. Didn't realise I had so much stuff behind the seats. Dust pan and brush. Dust pan and brush, guys. That's about the fourth we've found. I wonder where they all go. You must be joking. I don't pinch yours. I get my. I use my own, guys. Don't listen to her. Princess is going to help me take this bracket off for here. The uh, little coat hook. That's it. Just pull that one out. And the other one above it. Let me you you. help you. That's it, guys. Great job, little superstar. Thank you very much. Right, all cleaned out. I've got these mattresses and I don't know whether I'm going to use them yet. That's an inflatable one. Um, needs a clean, obviously. And that is an old um, midi bed. So I think that'd be a perfect size for our princess's bed. Um, so this is it. The blank canvas. Ooh, it's exciting. I'm really excited by this. We'll have some fantastic good times away. You know, we can just have a night here, a night there. It'd just be awesome. Awesome. And uh, it keeps the cost down then, see? It means you can do a lot more travelling with a lot less money. And that is... Thumbs up. I'm trying to get these letters off. It's taking a lot longer than I thought, I know that. That's better. Me and Kai are at B&Q at the moment and we're going to go in um, have a little look at some insulation ideas and get some materials to start the van. Yeah. Right, we've decided on our insulation we're going to use. This is the insulation board. Eight foot by four foot and we'll need four. These battens will be great for the bed base. Um, bed come sofa. Okay mate, let's go. Top job, mate. Top job. You just slipped their film in me. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> okay, we've got the materials. Just got changed, got some old clothes on. And insulate the ceiling, I think, first. And look at the view I got, guys. That's not a bad view, is it? Basically, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to measure from one side to the other side, cut the strips in and maybe glue them in, I think, with a bit of silicone or something, just to hold them in place. Right, to cut it to size, put a bit of silicone on there, simple as that, and basically wedge them in between, in between. Gives a bit of insulation. On days like today, where it's boiling hot, keep us nice and cool inside, and in the winter, keep us nice and toasty. going really well all insulated now these panels are often insulated and this one ceilings are done look um, the only things left is the back doors and the side door but um, the side door is gonna have a window in it not straight away but uh, eventually next step not today but tomorrow I'm gonna start making up the bed and the little kitchen area yeah it's going, it's going good it's going to plan I love it 
Look at me, I'm covered in this stuff. Just opened up the van now. There is polystyrene everywhere. I tried to sweep it out and it's just, I'm like a magnet to it. So, well anyway, today, what we're gonna do today is I'm gonna get this kitchen area um, with the worktop here and the bed stroke uh, lounging area set up by here. That's my job for today. It's all looking good, it's all dried nicely. The, the ceiling's all stuck nice. Yeah, it's all good, it's all good. First thing is the, we're gonna build a, a former bench along here, which will then pull out to form a six foot by four foot bed. Um, and once, once it's put away, it'll basically be a six foot by two foot seat with a back. It's getting pretty warm in the back here now. What I've done is I've just made a frame, simple frame, um, batten across the back to support the back and basically I'm going to screw these slats now uh, space bit apart and then on to the next phase okay the bed's done this is it's all slatted and basically this pulls out this slides out there the legs and basically then you've got your bed ah. when you're done Push them back in. Job done. These two just surprised me with some chicken and chips, guys. Is that wicked or what? So we can eat it in the back of the van, can we? Yes. Princess is always tucking, already tucking in. I know. Oh, thanks. I just put a lot of thought into this kitchen area. I am um, ideally four foot is full length of that full into that wall there but the off cutter worktop I got is under four foot so what I'm going to do is make it three foot as you can see down here and this area at the back there it's big enough then for me to still put my toolbox that's what I'm going to do I'm going to have it the standard height so it'll be as uh, high as a normal one so you don't struggle with your back okay I've got the, the frame in for the, um, the kitchen unit I don't know yet I might make it smaller at the moment it's 500 deep I thought I'd rather have more storage and there's plenty of space there as you can see to walk through so I'm not bothered about that but I don't know I'm gonna play it by ear I'm gonna get it in now just cut the worktop in the top there now and bracket it up and um, just see how much room it takes up yeah it's looking good though I'm happy got the worktop in I'm gonna leave this exposed for a minute until I decide exactly what I want to put on it this will be revealed this panel here with the holes in I'm going to screw a sheet apply to this wall and cut slots in it and that's going to support the um, upper bunks so wish me luck right as far as the top beds go I am really said a lot about these we've got these four holes cut in that board there and we've got four grooves on the opposite side Basically, I, I've not seen this done. I've not seen anybody else do this. So this is quite unique, I think. Basically, I've cut these timbers to match wall to wall, inside there to inside the groove. And I've cut the chamfer on these to suit the side walls. So what we do now is, you slot that side in there, then you swing this side round, and it drops into the groove. And that will be the one support the other one to slip in, slips in there, easy enough. And then this side just basically goes across and drops down. Then we, when we got the, the canvas hammock material, it'll basically wrap this and wrap this and that will form the bed inside there. So this is all four beams in. Plenty of room between the base and the, uh, and the beds above. All right mate, how's it going? So fingers crossed that works when the material's on it. Right, there's the material that we're going to be using. I'm going to wrap it around these babies. So this is the length I want. Just short of, of the end there to allow it to go into the uh, grooves. Same the other end. So I'm going to cut it to that, to that length. I basically wrap it around this, fix it. And the same on the other one. It's quite tough stuff. The first scissors I tried to use weren't sharp enough, so get yourself some sharp scissors. 
That's it nicely. Right, this would be the bottom of the bed, the underside of the bed. Um, I've literally just rolled it round and round to the size I want. Obviously, the those these two uh, four by twos got to be the same distance apart as what the holes are and the grooves in the van. Um, and literally, you just roll it around. I've set my distance here here now, and now you. Just roll that back to the edge and pick up pick up that so you know when it rolls back it'll be in the right place and all I'm using is drawing pins just to secure it while I roll it round into place and then basically just roll it round keeping it pulled tight keep it tight keep it tight and it should end up on your pencil mark which you made Put a couple more drawing pins in then just to secure it but these drawing pins will hold it there just so i can check and then we can go along then and put some uh, more substantial fixings in there and then we try them in the van so it looks that's my mattress let me for mattress uh got it on ebay i think it was like 45 quid something like that so that would be the mattress slash um, seating area okay well this is the the one bunk in and it's worked a treat what do you think mate it's nice I'm a view from here as well you've got a lovely view from there haven't you yeah. as you can see there just slotted in the holes there and there and yeah. we've got the grooves down this end that it just slots into pretty straightforward but it does the job that's wicked I'm, not, I'm happy with that What do you reckon, mate? Oh, There's so nothing sweet. wrong with that, is there? It like hugs you as well. Is it because it's material? Is it like stretchy? So it like yeah, sort look, of. You just sink in. It's yeah. like a hammock. You can right. see through. Yeah, you can. Yeah. You can see all your lumps and bumps, babes. Oh, I don't want to see bumps. <laughs> okay, so both beds are in now. What do you think, princess? Didn't bring it down. Comfy. It looks yeah, wicked, it. doesn't it? <laughs> I gotta say, this is fantastic, isn't it? Look, I can't we believe how much space. space we got. It's so cozy. This is a four foot bedroom. This is a four foot double, small double. Mum, when you want your And they both got their singles it, at the top. Are they comfy? Yeah, they are. They're wild. really comfortable. They're surprisingly comfortable. That is, that's really good. And they got space between them. Yes. Yeah, there is a gap. Yeah. yeah. It's tiny. Yeah, I see, there's, um, you can see. Gap in between but you can't two. fall out because there's like you scooped in, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, it's Look, a curves, doesn't it? Curves to you. If I try yeah. to roll, see? Yeah. I'm not rolling to me. That's good. I'm glad you won't roll out because you'll land on us. Yeah. <laughs> you You're comfy there, babe. You're looking yeah, really comfy. I love it. <laughs> I actually want to sleep in here tonight. Oh, can So do I. <laughs> <laughs> right, we're in bed, babes. What do you think? Oh, so comfy. For once, I'm going to have bunk beds. And there, up above us. <laughs> plenty of room as well. So, you know, I mean, turning over in the night, you're not going to not gonna clash. It is really amazing. I really love it. Fantastic. And as you can see there, because this is thick, it's thick, heavy duty. Polythene um, canvas. Polythene canvas, it was called. And it's designed for hammocks. So, as you can see, it's very, it's nice and stretchy, so it fits to the. Is that your back there? In my bum. <laughs> and this is our sofa. Look at that. Okay. This is the bed here, but I've, what, what they, I've got tools underneath here at the moment. So what I'll do is, these are slide underneath this bed, so they'll be out of the way, mm -hmm. and then you'll have your, the kitchen worktop. Ah, oh, this is going to be a lot of fun. I Sit love down. it. Let's see how much space is here. All like fitting quite comfortably. I got plenty of you. Okay, so this is where we're at with the van. We've got the roof up, basically just plastic cladding. Um, it was cheap enough, I think. The roof cost about £30 to do. Uh, the bed, when we slept in the bed, it was a little bit uncomfortable because of the slats. So what we did was literally just cover them with hardboard, as you can see there. Um, I didn't bother closing this in at the top because 
we keep our quilts up there when we go away uh, and it's better access without doors so that's the simple reason why but the bed is super comfy now we have a great night's sleep on it it's um this is basically just a fitted sheet over the top of it and i've put a seat belt in for the extra passenger i'll put a link in the description to a few trips we had out in it so you can have a look at the, putting up the the uh, the bunk beds and whatnot this is the area here look where we've got all our utensils and uh, bits and pieces in these boxes they're basically just boxes from ikea this is our gas stove you'll see that if you click the link um, this is where we keep our water which is really handy we've got a kettle behind there as you can see which is an absolute diamond heats up really good the kids got their pocket things here for when they when they go to bed brilliant absolutely love it this literally just cost us a couple of hundred pound to do this with the insulation and, and the cladding and the roof and everything so and we've had some brilliant times some brilliant trips away like i say i'll put some links in the description down below to places we've been and um, trips we've had in the van and you can make up your own mind what you think but we love it absolutely love it and the best thing is it's not even just going away overnight it's um just being able to just the four of us get in the van put the bikes in you nice and comfortably put the kayak in you and um, travel wherever we want to go you've then got facilities with you you can make yourself a cuppa and as far as a fridge goes this is all we use this is what we use as a fridge it doubles as a seat we could put a couple of freezer blocks in there and it keeps everything nice and cold for 48 hours which is great because that's we, we never go any longer than that thing is then you're out, out and about the kids can play on their bikes i mean uh, we sit there then we chill out have a cuppa we've also got um an electric let me show you the electric picked this up on ebay i think it was about 35 pound absolutely brilliant it's got a you know everything in there the electric cut off um, you've got three sockets which are brilliant just basically plug it into the socket at the campsite you've got electricity Liddles one day and they had an oven for sale yeah i'll show you this is the oven bought it from Liddles. so keep it in the garage because we, you know unless we've got electric it's no good to us but it's absolutely brilliant i don't know whether you can search this or whatever and try and find it but i really advise you to get one of these it's nice and compact and um you can cook two pizzas in it at a time don't get me wrong they're only small ones but definitely worth having guys thanks for watching this video and following the, the van conversion if um if you've enjoyed it please click the subscribe button and you know give this a thumbs up share it around any questions you want to ask just leave a comment down below and uh, i'll try to answer everybody so yeah give it a go guys it's definitely brilliant the four of us sleeping here really comfortably like i say the links are down below you can just check that out the show's just putting the, the bunk beds up and basically just going to bed and waking up in the morning so don't forget to give us a like and subscribe for our future adventures in the van guys thank you for joining me don't get lost or squashed and we will speak more soon So that's it. So that's it from us guys for today. Don't get lost or squashed and we will speak more soon. Bye. 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 Bye.